Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reorganizing this whole setup here that I have because I want to incorporate a tray where I'm going to put all of my little SLGs. So if you're interested in seeing how this turns out, just keep watching. Okay, so I am going to attempt to capture all of this on camera, but I don't know how it's all going to go. But the first thing I want to do is definitely put my bigger bags together. And so I'm going to go ahead and put them both here. Now, as I mentioned, I am getting a tray that I want to put my accessories on. I did take this off of my Speedy because I... I like to wear it on my shoulder and that the strap that's currently on it works best for me. So this is something that I'm going to want to put on the tray. And so I'm going to leave that out. I'm also going to take all of my small leather goods out of the bags and put them on the tray as well. Because I just want to have all of that stuff on a tray so that when I go somewhere... I can just pick and choose depending on what I am going to take with me to put in the bag. So all of this stuff is coming down. I did totally off topic. I did want to tell you all that I found this master leather belt hole puncher on Amazon. And I did use it on one of my bands and for my watch. And you can also use it on um, belts and stuff like that. So this was worth the purchase. So I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to put all of my handbags, my shoulder bags, sideways here. I think what I might do is keep that cloth underneath just to protect the bottom of the purse. So those are all of my Louis Vuitton bags. Okay, and then in this top one, I am going to put all of my smaller bags. And then my little bracelet, I'm also going to put it on my tray. So I'm going to set it over here. So on this top tray, I'm going to go ahead and put all of my smaller purses. And I'll bring you in to show you what they look like. Now I have this Louis Vuitton belt, but I would say that I have more Gucci belts than I do Louis Vuitton. So, let me move these over here. Like that. And I was going to put my belts on, the, on a tray but I think they'll work out okay here. I do also want to go ahead and put my Gucci purse down here with these purses. And then my shoes, I'm actually just gonna put back in my closet. Or I may put them over here on my shelf because I don't want to keep them up here. The only other thing I have is my makeup bag, which I'm just going to put back here. And then I'm done with that. So just to give you a closer look, I put my pochette from my Neverfull there, my pochette Felici with the inserts there, my mini monogram pochette, my make 
my toiletry, my trussle toiletry, my Louis Vuitton belt, and my two Gucci belts. Down here, I put my Victoire, my Gucci wallet on a chain purse, my Caissa, and then my cherry wood. And then down here, I just put my on the go and my speedy. So the plan is, is to put a tray here with all of my small leather goods. And then hopefully maybe display boxes here, but I'm not real sure. I kind of want to clean out a lot of this on the top and just organize it better. I did go ahead and add pictures to this side of my standing rack. And I really like the way that turned out. I put some boxes there. I may put a box under there. Now that nothing's sitting on that, I don't think that would fit under there. But I'm going to see what will fit under there. Initially, what I wanted this corner for was to film... And it's just become a collector of all my coats. And so, basically, that's what that is. So, going to continue clearing up here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So, once I decide and get all of this stuff up off the floor, I'll come back and give you guys a final little update on what I'm doing here. Plus, I'm still waiting on my tray from Amazon. So I need for it to get here so that I can finish out this area. Okay, so this is what I've done so far is I've gone ahead and taken the little insert, the extra one that I had out of my on the go. There's still one in it that has my travel stuff and I just keep it packed. I'm thinking about taking off all my straps too just so that I have them separate so that I know what I have because I have that thicker strap. I have this strap. Obviously I have the strap from the Speedy and then I have the Pochette Felici straps. I have two of them. I have one that I bought with this purse and then one that I kept from a Pochette Felici that I sold that is hooked onto this purse. But I don't necessarily feel like I need to have it attached to the purses. I feel like I can take them out if I want to. Um, I did put my makeup bag behind my belt. I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with my belt if I'm going to leave them there or not. On the top, I just moved my perfumes over. They were over here on the corner. And then I took all the boxes down and just kept kind of like my perfume boxes. And I just kept my Chanel box up there. And then my Gucci box up there. This side is a total mess because <laughs> I'm still waiting for my tray. And I put my little guy there. Down here, I put most of the boxes and my Gucci slides there. So that's what I'm looking at today. I should get my tray tomorrow, which will help me organize a little bit better. But I like that I don't have all of the boxes up here anymore. I mean, I think that was just getting a little crazy, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I did want so. to show you all were these little books that I got from Amazon. I bought that Chanel book and this Prada book. And they're fairly small little books. They're not big. But I thought they would make really good decor items. And um, I just put them here by my Louis Vuitton travel guide that I did get from the Louis Vuitton store. And so I just kind of wanted to show you all those that you can have little stuff like that. Like these were $10, $12. Now the guide from Louis Vuitton was 30, 
seven dollars or something like that so it was a little bit more pricey but the other two I did get from Amazon okay so I got the trays in yesterday which was Friday and they're right here I got two different colors I think I'll probably go with this one and maybe use this one I'm not sure yet but they're a pretty big size I will tell you that they're not really well made but they'll serve the purpose that I need them for I got them from Amazon they're called home redefined and so I'm going to go ahead and get started on clearing out this area and then coming back and putting everything back on. So here's where I am so far. I took all of my little wristlets from my master closet and I'm probably going to go ahead and put those in here with these other wallets that I have. That are not really designer bag and so that's what I'm gonna be doing today once I get it all in a good place I'll come back and show you all okay so this tray fits perfectly in here and so basically that's what I wanted to use to put my small leather goods now I might go ahead and try to use the marble one as well they're both the same size they just fit like that and maybe i could put one on top of the other i don't know um i haven't decided yet i kind of would like to see what's in them and these trays are or these shelves are adjustable so i think that i can maybe move one up and create a smaller space like this and then be able to have a bigger space on the bottom but anyway so i'm just gonna start placing my small leather goods in here still haven't taken the tag off of that <laughs> i need to do that i'm not returning it i'm keeping it but i just haven't taken the little tag off but I decided I wanted to go ahead and put this one on here as well. Just kind of, and it was very helpful when I did have them out because I was able to, like yesterday we ran to the store and I was able to just grab my key fob I really kind of felt like I didn't have a lot of SLGs and maybe I have more than most but the, these are all the SLGs that I have now again I have my little bracelet that I'm gonna put on here as well and then um, my little AirPods here and the whole thing with this is just being able to reach for whatever I want to carry that day and take it with me. Now I do have a lot of other stuff that I carry like the Chanel stuff that I just bought, my readers, um, my husband's key fob. In fact, I'm going to put that on here because I probably need to always put it in a bag when we go somewhere because it's easier for me to let myself back into the truck when we're somewhere so yeah i think that'll do it for this tray which is why i mentioned that i wanted to have this second tray and maybe i should have gotten the same color but maybe it'll be okay just to put all of this other extra stuff that i do carry with me that's not Louis Vuitton. Put my little Chanel bag. My new little Chanel mirror. 
my lotion, my headphones, my cord, pen, my perfume, my lip balm, my lipstick, and really that's about it. I did forget to put this on my this other tray and so basically that's what I am going to use the trays for so I wanted to start out showing you all this piece of the reorganization I did bring all of my little wristlets from my master closet to put into this closet which is my closet my coat closet and the reason I did that is because I already have all of my wallets and stuff here so just in an effort to keep them all together I did want to show you all this little piece here this little purse belongs to my belonged to my mom when she was younger and it kind of if you've watched my videos you know why I'm very into fashion my mom was very into fashion I couldn't tell you how old this little piece is and it just like you snap it open here like that and it's in very good condition inside considering how old this piece is I don't know a brand or anything like that I've just always kept it I wish there was a way that I knew how to restore the chain in fact I might look into that but I've had this <laughs> for a long time now and it's something that I definitely cherish and want to keep for the long term because it did belong to my mom my mom is still alive but if you you may or may not know that my mom does have Alzheimer's and obviously doesn't carry a purse because she would lose it but this she carried like in the 40s. So I'm very fortunate to have that piece for sure. <sighs> Try not to get emotional about it, but it's hard. Um, here is the reorganization of this shelving that I have in my office. This is obviously where I film my videos and where I work. And so this is my workspace. I can't show you too much that way because I have all of my work stuff out. And so let me just take you guys shelf from shelf. Um, up here on the top, I just put my perfumes in the middle. Just put a couple of boxes there. Um, I had this from my 50th birthday where I took a photo shoot. And I'll try to include a photo in here of that. And then, um, and then I ordered this from Bling Art For You. She made that for me. And this is just a compact mirror. And I, I'm always afraid to just carry it in my purse because I'm afraid like the stuff will fall off. So I just leave it there as decor. So... The first shelf here was the one that I showed you all where I put all of my small leather goods. I have my pocket organizer, my six key ring, my key pouch, my Demir Eben Zippy wallet, my AirPods. Now this is not authentic Louis Vuitton. This I got off of um this I got off of Instagram swipe up. But I really did like to keep my AirPods in there. But it's not an authentic item. Everything's authentic except for this. My Alma bracelet. My most recent purchase of the Bois Chapeau. My coin purse. I also put here my inserts for my Pochette Felici. The two that I have in the Demir Azure. And then the... Push it, Felici, that I sold, that I kept the inserts for. I have them here because I might want to carry a different purse and just want an insert to throw cash in or something like that. Although I never carry cash, but that's another story. 
down here I took all of my straps off and I put them in that box and my cup that when we travel I do like to take a tumbler to travel with my makeup bag I went ahead and moved over here and then on the bottom I just have my extra stuff that I put in my purse that we went over a minute ago I went ahead and put these little pouches here sometimes when I travel I like to put stuff in little pouches just to keep them secure here's my phone case that that same person made for me I don't have this phone anymore so I can't use it but I definitely use it for decor I think that marble tray worked well in this setup. Doesn't always have to be matchy matchy. I try to convince myself of that all the time. <laughs> Here, I just have my smaller purses, my pochette from my Neverfull that I sold, my pochette Felicity. I already went through all this, so I'm not gonna go through it again, but went ahead and put my belts there, a couple of boxes there. My purses, I kept the same. And my larger purses, I kept the same. Now, I did take the straps off of these, which are the straps that I have over there in case I want to mix and match. And I've said this before. I buy things that I can mix and match, that I can put in different bags so that I can get the optimal use of all of my items. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks a lot better than the way I had it and very functional I should be able to just grab a purse grab my accessories and be out the door so that's my plan anyway thank y'all for watching and have an amazing blessed day bye mm -hmm.